9 kill count on his Spory and only one more to go to complete the task for the hard combat achievement and also 75 farming. Pretty nice milestone. I have really been slacking on farming, but uh, yeah, I'm doing some now and then at least. There he is. Max Nick is going to help me do some Kriara. I have 9 KC right now. I need 50 for the hard combat diaries, so we're going to have to do quite a lot of Kriara. Let's see if we can manage to get any uniques. That would be really nice. Oh, oh my dude, plate. no way. Nice. Arma yes. chest plate on the first kill. The first kill we get a chest plate. Dude, there's no way. Hello. Oi. <laughs> nice. Is this the achievement? You yes, I got it. Airborne <laughs> showdown. Perfect. I mean, that was a short but very successful two-man trip. The armadillo chest plate is now in the group storage. Look at that. Beautiful. That's going to be so good for Nex. It has really good magic defense, which is super good at specifically Nex. But what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to do some more Kriara, but uh, I'm going to do it solo. I have actually 1.5 thousand almost black chinchompas, which I caught before, and I didn't really know what I would use them for, but I guess solo Kriara is really nice. No one is on right now to do it with, otherwise I would do it duo, trio, whatever, but uh, I want to get that 50 kill count done as soon as possible, so I got these three ecumenical keys. So let's see how many kills I can get per trip. I'm at 16 KC right now. My gear is looking great. This is actually kind of like a main account. I'm not even kidding. Like, the Armadillo chestplate makes you look so high tier. And the Anguish, the Verox helmet. I think the setup overall is actually going to be really good for soloing Kriara. I'm honestly very pleasantly surprised with how well this went. This is the fifth kill of the trip, so all these keys should get me 15 kill count. Which is a lot when I only need 50, so getting the 50 kill count done is probably not going to be as bad as I thought it might be. Doing pretty good, 35 KC right now, but Nick logged in and he's going to help me try to complete the Org Freezer and the General Showdown achievement from Bandos. Should be very easy, he is going to bring the Ice Barrage to freeze the boss and then I'll kill it. And the second one is kill the boss meanwhile all the minions are dead. Also pretty easy I think. That's not the right potions. I've been ranging so much, I <laughs> I didn't realize I am going to use melee potions. I think this is it. Should be the general showdown one with all the minions dead. Please don't respawn. Yeah, there we go. General showdown completed. I guess. 30. Okay, did I freeze it or did I freeze? I freeze him. I freeze him. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, I'm trying to kill. Try try help me as well. I, I think it actually has to be your hit. That's how I think the problem was. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, he's dead? Yeah. Is it should be. It? it should be. It should be. You love to me now. Yes, I got it. Nice, nice. Nice. That's all the I... the bandos achievements. Yeah, come and give me your boots of stone, bro. I'll Are upgrade them in? for you. Yeah. I have the Drake's Claw. Let's do this. Oh, boots of stone. The best trade deal in the history. And yes. No experience gained for that, unfortunately. But yeah, I was looking at seven hundred K trade back. Jeez, nice. Oh, no way! Armadillo helmet on 46 kill counts. In what, like 35 kill counts, I've got both the Armadillo helmet and the Armadillo chestplate. And the helmet is actually useful. Look at that. Imagine if I would get in the last 4k see the chain scare. That would be insane. And here it is. This is kill number 50 for some Dragonstone bolts. And that is the Kree Adept combat achievement completed. Which was the one that was the hardest one left of all the achievements I have. I only have to kill the Nightmare one time now. I can actually teleport out. Kill the Nightmare once and kill the Hispori boss one time. Which I already have planted. Which is going to be completely grown in two hours. So technically in two hours I will be done with the hard combat achievements. Look at this. 56 out of 58. And I actually do believe that I am probably one of the first group Iron Man to do this. I think this is a very niche thing to go for. You have to specifically kill a lot of different bosses. So yeah, probably one of the first to do this. It is now time to do a duo nightmare kill. It is the second to last achievement I need to do for the hard combat diaries. And with the help of Max Nick with a beautiful infernal cape, it should not be that bad. Dude, <laughs> come on, it's so close. I think we got it. Oh, yeah, my oh my god. Dude, I have I have 8 HP left. <laughs> oh my god. 8 HP clutch. That could not have been closer. Erebus. 
Yeah, I got uncut emeralds, 33, but yeah, that is- I'm basically done with the hard combat diaries now. Just the spore left. That was clutch. That was clutch. <laughs> and here we go. This is going to be the completion of the hard combat diaries for the 10th Hispori kill. And now you can see in the chat as well, the Bluest Cat 2 has completed the hard tier of the combat diaries. It was quite a grind. Let's see what we get for this Hispori kill as well. Maybe a bottomless bucket. I don't think we need any more, but uh, yeah, nothing too special. But let's go and get the reward. And for the third time, we are back here to Gomal to get our combat diary rewards. Let's talk about the combat achievements. I have completed a combat tier. And uh, let's see what we get. We get the Gomal's Hilt 3, which actually has infinite charges to the God Wars dungeon. Before it only had three, so that is really good to have. Also, it looks pretty nice. And this experience lamp is, I think, 15,000 herb lore experience. Yes. There's also multiple passive rewards that you get for completing the hard combat diary. All of those will be on the screen right now. Now, when it comes to the elite diaries, I am not going to go for this actively. I am just going to get the tasks. If I'm doing the activity anyways, I might as well do it. But I'm not going to push for it and complete it as fast as I can. Because one of the requirements is actually kill the thermonuclear smoke devil. And that is 93 slayer. And I'm not about to grind out six more slayer levels after doing all that slayer grinding. I'm kind of done with it. So I'm going to do a couple of different things now. This is something I've been putting off because I've been doing the combat diaries, the Dragon Slayer 2 quest. Vorkath is one of the bosses I actually really enjoy and I have basically all the requirements, just a tale of two cats and maybe something prerequisite to that. But I really want to get the upgraded Avas because I have this one still. It is not very good and the Avas assembler from Vorkath is actually substantially better. Before I can do a tale of two cats, I had to complete a Clarin's little helper, and this jump right here is the worst jump ever. I think I've fallen like seven, eight times. I guess nine times now. Great. 231 quest points, and that is the quest completed. Some decent experience right there, and we can now do a tale of two cats. I'm doing a tale of two cats right now, and I'm pretty close to done, but uh, I saw a video by Colonello, the OSRS YouTuber, and his latest video was talking about how the red cross icon on the hat is actually illegal for Jagex to have in the game. You have to be associated with the organization to be able to use it, otherwise it is illegal. But in old school RuneScape they just kept it for no reason, I'm not sure why. In RS3 they changed it to a green icon, but in old school RuneScape they did not, so it's actually illegal that they have this in the game. You should honestly go and check out the video. It's called the RuneScape's rarest items are glitched. I think Bob's girlfriend's name is kind of neat. A Tale of Two Cats completed. You can say that in the chat. And we got the present. Let's see what this is. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's experience lamps. Okay, well, uh, how much experience is this going to be in herb lore? 2.5k. And I guess this is all 2.5k. So 5k herb lore experience for free. Not bad. Uh, I was just looking at the requirements for the Dragon Slayer 2. I have basically all the items. The Goutwit, though. Oh my god, that is so annoying. If you don't know what it is, you have to, like, run through a maze at the Troll Stronghold, and if you get caught, you have to redo it. I think it might be easier than I uh, remember it being, but uh, I think I spent some time there last time. Bit of a jump, I already completed the quest now, and I just killed Galvec, but uh, I went to bed after the last clip, and I just sat here in the morning completing this quest, and it was really not that bad. And the last boss actually died on one time, even though I have killed it before, because I just got completely one-shot in the beginning by the bombs. I forgot how they spawn, and uh, that would have been bad if I was a hardcore Iron Man, but luckily, I am not, and that is Galvec dead. Time to get the experience reward and access to the Myths Guild. Let's talk about the quest with Alec. And that is the quest completed. Let's see the experience drops coming in in a sec. 15k agility, 15k thieving, 18k mining, and 25k smithing. 5 quest points, and that is 72 agility. Let's actually go and buy a Myths Cape, because that is going to be a very good item. I did not have a voice crack, that's fake. So let's buy the Myths Cape from Jack. It is very cheap, it's only like 10k. Yep, so I'm buying a couple of them. And looking at the stats, it has 1 plus strength bonus, but it has 6 plus crush. And this is the only cape that has that high crush bonus. So it's actually pretty good for Dragon Warhammer specs on Corporal Beast and, for example, Vetion, where you always use crush. 
We actually have like no Solra scales at all and I need the Serpentine Helmet to do Vorkath to not get Venomed. We don't really have a lot of Anti-Venom so I'm going to do some Solra, get some scales and when I have a decent amount I'll go to Vorkath. Actually going to be an achievement here, I am 10 kills in and that is 250 Solra kills which is a master combat task. I started with 240 kill count and I think I will probably go to 260. I think I started with 50 scales and from 20 kill count I now have 3709 scales in the helmet. If it turns out to not be enough for 50 Vorkath kills, I'll come back. The backpack upgrade is kind of weird, it's 1 in 50 drop rate but if you haven't got it after 50 kills it is guaranteed. But the first kill is Manta Ray, it's actually really good because you can see in my inventory I'm using only Karambons because that is the only food I have so now I have something to combo with. Oh my god, such a slow kill, sometimes my ruby bolt does not want to work with me, but uh, this is a quite important drop I want to mention. Wrath runes is very hard to get, unless you have very high rune crafting, and uh, basically no one in our team has rune crafting leveled. So uh, that is the only way really we get wrath runes, and you use them for the Archaeo spellbook to make three ashes into prayer experience, and it's actually really nice to bring to like Abyssal Demon tasks, and stuff like that to get a bunch of extra prayer experience. Oh, well that was easy. Vorkath head on 16 kill count on a very very slow kill. But uh, yeah, very nice to have that done. Uh, this boss does drain some supplies. I didn't really have good food as you guys saw. But uh, yeah, time to make the Avos Assembler. All the loot from the Vorkath kills on the top right here. Some pretty good loot overall. But let's now talk to Ava and I think maybe devices and here we go the Ava's assembler I have everything to make it and let's look at the stats the attack bonus of the Ava's accumulator is plus four ranged the defense is one slash and four magic upgrading it to this one is going to substantially increase that to two ranged strength which the other one had zero of also double attack bonus and a bunch of more different defensive stats also it looks better. This fits really well with my crystal armor. Two items I want to get right now which I should have got a long time ago is the soul bearer and the ash sanctifier. The ash sanctifier I can just get actually by talking to Tiss because I should have picked this up after completing the hard combat diaries. And here we go. Can I have a ash sanctifier? There it is. And uh, what this does is uh, basically a bone crusher but for ashes. But it costs death runes with charges, which is not that bad because it gives a good amount of charges every time. So if I'm doing a necreal task in the future, I can have this. Now the second thing is the soul bearer. This is an item that you can also charge runes into and it will automatically send the ensouled heads that you get from Slayer into your bank. It's kind of expensive on runes, but it is worth it now and then. If I have a full inventory, I can activate it. And if I have space in my inventory, I would just deactivate it. So it's pretty nice for those last and sold heads of a task. So I'm going to go and get that now. It's from a mini quest. And there we go. That's the soul bearer completed and the ash sanctifier. So that's going to be really useful when I go back to Slayer in the future. Me and Max Nick have been talking about doing some raids soon and trying to get the arcane prayer scroll and the dexterous prayer scroll for the rigor and augury prayers. But I only have a 72 prayer but I have a lot of experience banked right here so I'm going to go ahead and use all of the bones on the chaos altar and use all the unsold heads of course at the Archaeus area and let's see how much experience we get. And here we go, this is 74 prayer for the rigor prayer whenever we do get that prayer scroll. But uh, I have been PK'd like twice and I lost overall like 20 bones maybe. But I still have a lot more to go, so 77 is probably going to be uh, pretty easy to get. One more ensouled head and I am going to get 77 prayer. And I've used up all the bones that I had in the bank except for the big bones because that was kind of bad experience and I don't want to spend too much time doing those. But I can use them whenever I want to to get some experience at least, but that is 77 prayer. And I still have quite a lot of unsold heads in the bank, so I might even be able to reach 78. I guess we'll see, i use all of them now. I'm not quite all the way to 78, but uh, pretty close to it. 42,000 experience, and after this one, like 40k experience of 78, so I will be able to get that pretty fast if I would go for it. But we did get 77, which was the goal anyway, so now whenever I do get that augury prayer scroll, the arcane one, or the dexterous prayer scroll for rigor, I will have those, which is very convenient. 
I do believe that overall we're going to start doing more group bossing again pretty soon because we've been kind of waiting on Dovidas. I have been doing some with Max Nick to do some combat achievements, but Dovidas has been doing a lot of League's content and he did say recently he is feeling kind of done with it. So as soon as he's coming back to the group Iron Man, we're planning on doing quite a lot of group content. But this is going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see the future uploads of the series. And also I'm very happy about that armadillo chestplate and the helmet that I got early in the video. Going to be very useful on next actually when we do do it. So that is a nice convenience. But uh, until next time guys, take care.